Welcome to Samsung Judo. Today we're going to show you how to do a very quick warm up. Um, sometimes let's just pretend you've come late to your class and the class has started and you're left on your own to warm up. Um, I'm going to show you a very basic warm up. What are the right way to warm up to join a class that's already started before you? It's a, a lot of people ask these questions and like everything there's a right way and a wrong way. So I'll show you what I think is a very simple quick way to warm up and then join in your session. Okay, I've just arrived at the class. The class has just started. Everyone's warmed up. I'm 15 minutes late behind everyone else. The instructor says to me, warm up and join the class, which you should warm up. You should never join a class without warming up because we know why you're going to be very prone to injuries and that's the best way to get hurt. So I've got a few minutes to warm up and join the class. So what do I do? Okay, so this is what I would do and hopefully you can learn something from it. So we'll start warming up and this is important just to Relax the shoulders as well, ligaments and tendons. It's not just about cardiovascular. So a little bit of skipping, maybe about 15, 20 seconds. Start to warm the hips up. Hands go one side, hips go the other way. You can practice a bit of coordination. And back again. There are millions of exercises. Okay, second one, legs up. Okay, now we go on the knees, put your hands along here and reach up for your knees. A little bit of open and closing, relax the fingers, move the body around. Judo should not be static, you must learn to move all the time. So that's moved, moved up all the ligaments, joints, tendons, neck muscles. Okay, next technique, start on the ankle, a few circles onto the ankle and then the other way. We use the ankle a lot, so we want to make sure it's nice and warm, left and right. Okay. Turn the foot sideways, a little bit of pressure, turn the foot the other way, do the same on the other side. It doesn't have to be long, but just enough to stretch it. The other thing is the toes. Turn the toes, they take a lot of punishment, so it's nice to make sure they're loose especially if they've been in shoes all day. Okay, so that's done. Then I like to just stab the mat. Then also warms the hips up as well. Now from here, your feet together, hands on top of the knees, a little bit of rotation, maybe five or six, one way, the other way. Open your legs, come in and out, squat and roll, other way. Feet together, just add a little bit of tension on the tendons by bending left and right. Relax the body forward. And if you notice I'm working from the bottom on the way up, then I go into the hips. Of course, we use the hips a lot in judo, so it's nice to loosen up the hips. I like to step forward and add a bit of pressure to the hip, both ways, other side. Very simple. And then just push the hips left and right. So it's all nicely done. Okay, very good. And now I'm gonna work on to my top. Just a little bit of twisting. Your hands by your pockets, about five or six times. Then your hands slightly higher up to your chest. And then from here, you can go higher, left and right. Yeah, and then finish off a few forward circles with the shoulders, backwards. Okay, then we have one hand coming forward, one hand going backwards. Again, coordination work, warming up. Left hand goes up, bend your hand behind, stretch your shoulders, because we will be using the shoulders a lot. Come across your face, pull nice and tight under your armpit, pull tight. Take the hand behind and pull up as much as you can. That stretches the shoulder. We do exactly the same on the other side. As I said, it's just very simple stretching. And you're only as good as your judo, as well as your warm up. The last thing you want to do is get injured. Shoulders, back and forward. Okay, head, half in, half out. And then you can go all the way around. And the other side. And then a little bit of pressure. Pull your head down, so you're stretching the neck. Back up. 
you can twist your head slightly to the left, to the right, take the side, pull down, and resist the pressure a little bit, and then relax the other side. Good, and then a little bounce, legs apart, slightly bending, all the joints have been loosened up, blood's pumping, squat down, stretch other side, again, stretch, stretching the groin, and then going flat footed, other side, a little bit of tight torsion, just stretching, and then you can overextend by going the other way, stretch, other side, Shake your hands, and you're ready to go. That's it, that's all you need to warm up. And of course, very important, when you finish your session, we need warm down as well. Okay, hope that helps, thank you.